Hi, it's Tom Gregory here and welcome to this video all about setting up rules and alerts for your Spring Boot application. When your application is exposing useful metrics about how it's behaving, there's no fun in constantly monitoring it for problems. Instead, you need to configure rules and alerts for when those rules are broken. In this video, you'll discover how to set up a simple email alerting system for your Spring Boot application. And this is part three in the series about monitoring a Spring Boot application. If you're not yet familiar with Prometheus, be sure to check out part two where we discuss it in detail. So let's get right into it. Prometheus is configured to scrape metrics from your application. As seen in part two, it's straightforward to query those metrics to find out exactly what's going on in the application. To know when there's a problem, we'll use these queries to configure rules, which will be in either a broken or non-broken state. When a rule is broken, an alert will be triggered via another service we'll set up called Alert Manager. In Alert Manager, you can figure how you want to deal with an alert. Some alerts may be sufficient to send by email, but others may require a phone call to wake someone up in the middle of the night to sort things out. Here are some example rules we might configure. Is my server not running? Is my rate of requests hitting my server too high? Is my server's memory usage greater than 95%? A rule has a binary true or false answer. Once a rule is broken, an alert is raised. In part two, we saw that you can query the rate of requests for a particular endpoint of a Spring Boot application. This particular query returns us the per second rate of requests to the Do It endpoint, averaged out over five minutes. A rule is simply a metric with a condition. If we want to create an alert for when our application has a request rate greater than zero, the rule would be this. In Prometheus language, a rule which raises an alert is called an alerting rule. It's defined along with some other information you can see here. Alert is a name for the raised alert when the rule is broken. EXPR is the actual rule definition as already described. For is how long the rule needs to be broken for to raise an alert. In our case, if the request rate remains greater than zero for one minute, an alert will be raised. Labels are extra information that can be attached to the alert, for example, severity. Annotations are extra descriptions that can be attached to the alert, for example, summary. Just so you know, this rule of request rate greater than zero isn't something you would typically set up for your application. We'll use it as an example as it will be easy for us to break the rule by making a few requests. In a real life scenario, you may instead want to define a rule for if the request rate is unexpectedly high. When a rule is broken, if Prometheus has an alert manager instance configured, it will send all the alert details over. Alert manager is a separate service in which you can configure exactly how alerts should be handled and where they should be sent. It has two main concepts which are worth understanding. Receivers are the channels through which alerts may be surfaced, for example, email, Slack, or webhooks. Routes are the rules to do with which receiver an alert is surfaced through, based on the alert's labels. For example, we may have an application label on all alerts which is used to route through to the email address of the team responsible for that particular application. We'll pick up from where we left off in part two and extend our Spring Boot Docker Compose monitoring solution to include a basic alert manager configuration to email us any alerts it receives, an alert manager container, a basic Prometheus rule configuration, a Prometheus configuration to push to alert manager. For this example, we'll be setting up an alert by email through a Gmail account. If you're following along, make sure you have one of these set up over at gmail.com. In order to connect alert manager to the Gmail account, we'll need to generate something called an app password within Gmail. I'll go to the security settings of my Google account and click on App Passwords under Signing into Google. 
On the next page, I can create a new app password by selecting the Mail app and Other Device, where I'll enter Alert Manager in the text field. We'll then get a new app password for use in the Alert Manager configuration. Let's create a file alertmanager.yaml and add the following configuration with my Gmail email address and app password that we've just generated. Here we're setting up a root and a receiver. The root is the most basic possible and tells Alert Manager to use the same email or receiver whatever the alert. The receiver is an email receiver and contains all the configuration needed to connect with the email account. To add an alert manager container, let's extend docker-compose.yaml by adding this section at the end. This tells docker to start alert manager on port 9093. We're mounting the alertmanager.yaml file inside the container at the default alert manager configuration file location. We'll run docker compose up and now we have an instance of alert manager running on localhost 9093. To configure a rule in Prometheus, you add the rule to what's called a rule file. Let's create a rule file called rules.yaml containing the same rule configuration described earlier. The rule file then needs to be referenced in the main Prometheus.yaml configuration by adding this extra section. We'll also need to update Prometheus.yaml with details about how Prometheus can connect to our alert manager container. Here we're telling Prometheus to connect to an Alert Manager instance we have running on Alert Manager 9093. Remember that Docker will automatically expose the container name Alert Manager as a host on the network. Now that everything's configured, we can run Docker Compose up again. Since the alert will be triggered when the rate of requests to localhost 8080 slash do it goes above zero, I'll hit that URL a few times, we'll wait 15 seconds and we'll do the same again. The reason for this is that Prometheus rate function relies on the metric value from two separate scrapes. That's why we have to hit slash do it twice, at least 15 seconds apart. Once is to initialize the metric and once again to increment it. We can keep an eye on slash alerts to see the status of the request rate rule. This may take a few minutes for this rule to change status. It will first go to yellow to indicate it's in the pending status. After the for interval defined in rules.yaml has passed, in our case one minute, it will go red to indicate the firing status. When the rule is in the firing status, Prometheus will contact Alert Manager to generate an alert. Alert Manager will decide what to do with the alert, in our case sending an email. And I've got an email in my inbox telling me all about the alert. After some time, as long as no further requests are received to slash do it, the rule will go green again. Panic over. Combining Prometheus and Alert Manager allows us to easily configure rules against metrics and to alert us of important application scenarios that we need to know about. We've seen that it's easy to configure Alert Manager to send alert emails to a Gmail account. There are many more receivers available, so head on over to the Alert Manager website to learn more. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to hear about the final part in this video series, which will be all about Grafana. If you want to learn how to visualize metric data in an easy to understand way, enabling you to make good decisions quickly, then next week's video is for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Tom Gregory Tech.